Hello, I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about Codex. Alright, so I will be covering Codex for Mac and PC, so for both users uh, we will have a solution in this video. And the first thing is why should you use Codex? And actually it's quite simple, if you want to work on a file, you export it out, import it in your visual effects composing software, you render it out again to a color grading artist, and this file gets exported, imported all the time, then you want to use a good Codex so you don't have any loss on the quality of your video. Because each time you export, for example, a JPEG image, each time it's going to have quality loss. So if you do that over and over again, you won't have the same exact image as you started with. And in video, this is exactly the same thing. Um, for users that are only worried about YouTube exporting and just want to upload online, uh, online already does a lot of compression on your video, so it's not that important to have a good codec here. Uh, well, it is important to have a decent codec for uh, these types of uh, uploads. And in this case, you would be using H.264. Well, that is my personal favorite. Um, but if you want more about that, I'd recommend you to check out my best export settings for YouTube. So I will link that in the description below so you can check out that video. For those that are working on professional projects with clients or in a team and you're the editor or the color grading artist and you have to interchange a lot with your footage, then in this case it's very interesting to know about a good codec. For Mac users, it's actually quite simple. QuickTime is automatically installed on your PC. And if you go to your editor, you just select QuickTime. And for the codecs, you can choose Apple ProRes 422HQ. This is my personal favorite and the best codec in my opinion. So just pick that selection and export it out. Just make sure that you are exporting in 10 bit, but that will automatically be selected if you use H22HQ. For Windows users, it's a little bit different and a little bit more difficult, which is unfortunate. I can't use ProRes on my PC, um, although I really enjoy working with it. I know some people have a workaround, but I use something different now, and that is DNX HD. This doesn't come on your PC automatically, so you will have to install this, although it's completely free, so I will put a link in the description where you can download it. It's also a really good codec, and you would also select QuickTime, then go for a codec DNX HD, and then you select the 444HQ 10-bit version with your preferred resolution, so in this case, Case, it's full HD. All right, so that's actually it. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel for more and see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>